Welcome to Better Human Podcast. This is the BH5, five-ish minutes to help you become a better human, to think better, live better, act better, make yourself better. Betterment through action, that's what it's all about. Life is about the journey, not the destination. We're gonna help you become better, self-actualize, and then make the world and people around you better. Today's idea is humans? No, it's not. That is not today's idea. Uh, so that's from an old show. Today's topic is why mentors are mostly a waste of time. Here's a better way. So the idea that a mentor is going to give you some secret information or tip or trick that's going to make everything possible for you is the illusion that people go into wanting to find mentors have. They think there's some secret club or, I mean, there are secret clubs and there's definitely a lot to be said for knowing certain people and how you get access to different things. And so I'm not necessarily talking about network. I'm talking about the idea that you're going to go hang out with like Steve Jobs or Elon Musk. And then over the course of a few hours, they're going to like change your life and blow your mind. The likelihood is they'll probably be pretty average or pretty boring, right? Great people that accomplish great things do so over the course of a lifetime. We're talking years and years and years. And usually the things that make them great happen behind closed doors, happen uh, just through their daily actions, things they do, they don't do, decisions they make, decisions they don't make. So this idea that you're going to show up to be around them or they're going to tell you something that's going to then finally give you what you need to know to be successful is a complete illusion. Okay? Now, does this mean mentors aren't useful? No, absolutely not. But what I have found is that mentors are only as good as the openness of your mind and your willingness to take action. So if you're not willing to take action, if you're not going to ask good questions and then take the hard necessary action to learn from those things, then mentors are going to be meaningless, basically. And for most people, you can get all the mentorship you need from YouTube podcasts and books, audiobooks, physical books, whatever. You can learn about the smartest people, the most successful, literal world changers. You can read all about them. You can read how they lived. You can read direct quotes from them. You can watch videos of them, interviews, right? And then you can build worldviews by absorbing, hopefully absorbing as much of their ways of thinking which is the real thing you're after. You're after their ways of thinking, which then lead to ways of acting, which then manifest as results in real life. And you're definitely not going to get that from like a one hour chat with Warren Buffett where people were literally spend like a million dollars on that. It's, it's insanity. Like you can learn everything you want about Warren Buffett by just watching interviews and reading some books. You have to take action. You have to do things in life. You have to learn. You have to iterate. And that's what success is. It's the inconvenient truth, the reality to personal responsibility and taking action and how you actually live a good life. It's through effort. You cannot shortchange. It's kind of like, this is what it is. It's like learning to walk. Let's say you could interview a bunch of people that know how to walk. Like, let's say babies could talk and think and you reach like age one. You want to interview a bunch of toddlers that are running around or even just adults. You're going to interview them and ask them. It's like, how do I walk? What do I do? Okay, so you place your foot like that and then like you move your weight this way. Oh, wow. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And then you get up off your diaper ass and you go to take that first step to walk and you fall fat, flat on your face. <laughs> and you might, through all that research you did, the toddler research and then talking to teenagers and adults, you might be able to speed up the development process, but you cannot forego it. It's like go hang out with Arnold Schwarzenegger and ask him all his tips and tricks. And then does that mean you wake up tomorrow with massive biceps ready to compete? That's how people think about mentors. They think it's like some secret access to information or whatever. That's not the case. Nothing in your life will come of value without effort. This is the success principle, the success loop, the learning loop, whatever you want to call it. Action leads to learning, to feedback, which leads to more action. And then you do that evolutionarily, growing, 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 better, 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 learning, 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 until you eventually get the outcome you're after. That's all it is. That's what it is. 
And what I have found in life, mentors will come to you. They will show up at the right time when you're ready to receive them when you're already taking action in your life. So books, podcasts, read biographies, read articles on people, interviews, etc. And then take action, build things, do things, learn. And if you really, really want to learn from someone, you're really committed, then go find somebody and work for them for free. Say, I just want to be a fly on the wall or I'll bring you coffee or I'll like proofread all your articles or I'll proof edit for you or I'll do whatever. Just work for them for free. And you're going to learn a little bit through that process from them. It's probably actually not as much as you thought, but that that's just is what it is. Most of the genius and the success in people, if those people tried to quantify it and explain it to you, they would do a terrible job. Right? We, we make up these stories in our mind. A lot of us don't even know why we're good at some things, not good at some things, whatever. It's just very hard to quantify that, to identify that. All right, so we've got closing round real quick. I'm going to let you go. we got this day in history. Bob Dylan records Blown in the Wind. Uh, first female arm, army officers appointed in 1947. And then 1960, Cold War, Soviet Premier Khrushchev, 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 Khrushchev and President Eisenhower trade threats over Cuba. Most people don't realize how close we were to complete annihilation. There was a Russian submarine officer that actually got the order to launch a nuclear weapon to America, probably off like to Florida or something. It was off the coast of Cuba. But he ignored that order because he didn't trust the data coming in. And I don't really remember what it was, but he basically is the reason we're probably here today. <laughs> All right. Let's go a few couple facts. Let's find something interesting in here real quick. World's smallest reptile was first reported in 2021. That was this year, actually. Many feet bones don't harden until you're an adult. Yeah, and that's why you have to walk barefoot, zero drop shoes, go barefoot, earth ground, you know, just get those freaking shoes off because your feet will grow to conform inside your shoes and it's going to be really bad as you get older and you'll be, it'll be painful and you'll always need support. It's not a good thing. All right. And then let's check out our sponsor, Wild Foods Co. We have whole food, real food supplements and foods to help you clean label ingredients, obsessively source, whatever your goals are, whatever you're, you're trying to accomplish, you're going to need these products. We have collagen here. We got elderberry. We got fish oil. I take daily, give it to the kids. We got a golden milk. You can make some tasty coffee, alternative drinks. We got super greens, vanilla powder, and the list goes on. All super premium, awesome ingredients. And why are mushrooms out? Hmm, I need to check on that. I will ask the team about why our mushrooms are out. You can use code WOWCEO for, I think I've made the code much more aggressive. I think you get 15% off. You might even get 25% off. No, 20%. Yeah, 25 would be crazy. So 20% off and free shipping on all orders over $79 over at wildfoods.co. This is a great way to support your health, support the show, and it's a match made in heaven. You know, what's better than that? So that's going to be it for the Better Human 5. Get the newsletter over at Colin.coach, which is the hub for all the shows, and then subscribe on your favorite podcast app and or YouTube, ideally both. I'll see you in the next one.